How's it going, guys? Coming out in the garage, we're gonna knock out a little bit of this. It's a little later than I wanted to get out here. I didn't realize I was waiting on my wife. So I'm gonna knock out a little bit. I wanna just go over a couple things first. First, uh, not this weekend. Well, actually, we'll go over that first. This Sunday is a swamp meet up in East Hartford. I just found out about somebody was nice enough in the mini bike world to text me about it because he knows I do lake compounds so I guess he figures I live up that way uh, that's number one thinking about it number two uh, the following Sunday the 25th is the illegal mini bike races okay and like I said before guys that's just a term that's used and not illegal we have permission to use the land it's sponsored by a club you know what I mean? We have to wear our clothes and our helmets and gloves and all the other good things. They serve food, so it's not illegal. It's just a term they used. It might have been illegal years ago, long before I knew about it. So, we got that coming the following weekend. And uh, the mini bike seat, which is in this box, uh, they actually contacted me the next day. I didn't even realize. He contacted me the next day and he gave me a couple options. He gave me one option of him actually paying to pick it up and shipping me another one outright no charge or well, he gave me an option of 50 percent off and i thought about it and i said to myself i'll, I'll take the 50 percent off i'll use the money i'll buy a piece of foam and i'll just pad it assuming that he was giving me 50 percent off of the price of the seat so and that's exactly what i told him and i looked today he gave me 50 percent off the seat and the shipping <laughs> So he actually gave me more than uh, than I expected. So that that seat wound up costing me to my door eighteen dollars and fifty cents. So with that, I'll, I'll unskin it and put padding in. It. So like I said, he's a stand-up guy for doing that, uh, and I'll buy from him again. So with all that said, let's get sanded. Let's get sanded. <laughs> Okay, let, let's take a minute away from this wet sanding to tell something to Ruben. Ruben, these are the exact rims you need. Okay, these are six inch rims with the hubs built onto it. You can get them separate, but most of them built onto it. And if you look at the wheel, the wheel is like cone shaped out. So they cone shape it out here, they cone shape it on the other side, so it's like this wide. So when the wheel flexes, it won't snap off. This is a genuine cat wheel, but a lot of people use it. This is what they call a cheaper low-end wheel. There's a six-inch wheel. I think it's three and a half inches wide. It's got the hub on this side for the bearing. Same on that side. The rear wheel is almost identical. It's a little wider. Now bear in mind, these can be shortened down. I make it show you how to easily cut and get this perfectly flat but you need it with a sprocket. Whether it be built on like this one, this one is welded to it, or one that that bolts on, which this one isn't. This one, see this one's welded on it too. There's another style, see this is shorter. Okay, those are the wheels you need for the rear. You definitely need six inch. I might have an actual set of tires in stock for you for the back. Uh, so if you can land the wheels with a sprocket set up, and we could easily hook the drum to this. Your sprocket would be on the other side, you could easily center that drum and drill through the sprocket and put that little brake on. So, Junior's wheel has the hub and a flange and sprockets bolted on. Which in the other instance you too, you could bolt the drum right to that one. These are five inch wheels, stay away from five inch wheels. You know how it is to find 5 inch tires, especially big ones like these? I hate 5 inch wheels. Here's a 5 inch wheel. The only reason it's on here, it has brand new tires on it. That's the way they came. So, I meant to show you what bargains you can get. Brand new, with the knobs on it. I got a pair of these. Here's one. Here's the other one. I got a pair of these. 15 bucks. There you go. 
no dry rot, never used, never put on. The guy had ordered them, and it says the call aisle on there, but it doesn't have the Indian heads, and he was doing the restoration. So if you're doing a restoration, people shy away from these. If you're not doing a restoration, they're an awesome bang for the buck because they're not cheap Chinese. They're Chinese, but they're not the cheap Harbor Freight crap tires. These actually feel like a car tire with the cords inside and the metal beading around here. It's a real tire. It doesn't have that Chinese smell either. So I see rims like this all the time laying around the swap meets. Even if we could hook you up with a pair of rears, the fronts, you could do any time. The fronts, you could even go with the Harbor Freight, the four inches or six inch ones, and just switch the bearings out. The bearings that go in here, four bearings, so that's enough to do two wheels, is $10 on eBay for real ones with real ball bearings in them. The Harbor Freight ones, the ball bearings are like the size of a pen tip, and they instantly wipe out. They're not made for any kind of speed alone. So, but here, here's a perfect example. Here's a six inch tire, the rim, next to a four inch. Can you see the height difference? So, it'll definitely raise you off the ground at least another inch. So, it's a mid tire and a tread, but it's got cracks. So, I just figured I'd stop a minute and show you that ribbon. I'm getting back to what's in Oh. We got the top done, no breakthroughs, it's getting close here and here, but the area disappeared, okay, so we call that good, we got this done, well we had this done, I finished around here in the bottom, the only place I broke through was right there, I knew that was going to happen, the metal's like all crinkled, so it has all high edges from them bending it, so we'll have to hit that with something. I guess no matter how much I put that, I'm going to keep blowing through. I don't remember if I had a problem with the other side. I don't think I did, but I know every time I sanded this one before I did. So, we'll look at that. I just got to get this section here. Like I said, I can't believe I'm wet sanded behind the bumper. The bumper comes around here, covers all this. So, but I'm definitely happy with the top. That was the most important you don't know if there's dings or anything that I missed the first block sanding I didn't think there was but you don't know I'm not gonna work on that cove tonight I'm not working on the bottom so basically at the bottom of the fender just this edge which goes pretty quick and that front corner I'm just out of steam just tired uh, lack of sleep is catching up that's all I gotta say but at least I'm out of here forgetting so it's uh, almost 8.30, give or take. It's 23 after. <coughs> Excuse me.